So Chick-fil-A CEO comes out and says he is against gay marriage. Who cares? Why should the opinions, the opinions of one CEO about gay marriage matter that much to anybody? How is this going to make a difference? Personally, I think he should have kept his personal opinions separate from his business interests because that's where I think the misconception is taking place. People all of a sudden think that Chick-fil-A is now anti-gay and will refuse service to gays. Is he out there posting signs on every restaurant that says no gays allowed? No? Then what's the big deal here? Let me throw out a few questions for you here, starting with this. How many other fast food CEOs share the very same opinion about gay marriage, but choose not to say it? How would you react if you found out that the CEOs of McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, and all the other more successful fast food chains, how would you react if you found out they all believed in Christian principles? No matter how good the food is, do you taste buds? Do your taste buds get spoiled simply because you found out they were against gay marriage? The food's still the same no matter what, just as long as they are not actively boycotting you from eating it. How about this little chicken nugget? How many of you even cared about Chick-fil-A before hearing about this guy's unfortunate statement? How many of you were even regular diners at Chick-fil-A? If you never cared, if you never cared about Chick-fil-A, as I never really did because I'm so used to eating at the more successful fast food restaurants. You know, the ones who make it their business not to share their opinions about gay marriage because, quite frankly, it's not anybody's business. So then how convenient, how convenient it is for people to suddenly get so worked up and start bitching and moaning and bitching, and moaning, and bitching, and bitching, and bitching, and bitching about one man's opinion about gay marriage when they probably really didn't care about Chick-fil-A in the first place. The negative reaction doesn't really say so much about the opinions of Chick-fil-A as it does about the people who are offended by those opinions. You see... People like to talk, and talk, and talk so much about tolerance, and wanting to be accepted for who they are. And there are already so many outlets nowadays to express themselves and be embraced and accepted by like-minded people, and others who are willing to listen, and yet they still can't tolerate another man's opinion. They still can't find the self-confidence in themselves to accept another man's opposing opinion. What this means is they just won't stop until their opinions and their way of life becomes the law of the land and we and even if they have everything they ever wanted, even if gay marriage becomes legal and accepted and mainstream, it's not going to be good enough for them because They'll just turn around and be just as intolerant and hypocritical as the people and the laws they replace. That is why I, I personally can never preach to anybody about tolerance. There are things in life that I will support, like, for example, gay marriage. I support gay marriage. I just don't see how this is going to help the cause, mostly because I believe it reeks of hypocrisy of hidden agendas, and of cheap ways to gain attention for you that isn't going to change anybody's mind about anything. Those are, those are things in life that I will never support and I will never tolerate.